This was just earlier. Oh, one of the more popular players out here. Oh, just won't nudge over the front edge. Winner of the shop right in this area a few years back. Her lone win. At the 17th, this is Mel Reed. Mel is. Uh... As Mel Reed has arrived at her ninth hole, the par 5 18th. Seems to like it. Yeah, she's got some power. We'll see if she is able to get gets a little bit past that plaque there, the Nicholas plaque in that fairway. She may be able to get there in two. We haven't seen too many players today. Par 5 seventh, a rare hole where you step to the tee and say, maybe I can get one <laughs> yeah, or maybe two. After the first on this side of the golf course. But you can see fairways not giving up much towards this green. But with that front hole location. World and playing brilliantly coming in. Mel Reed at the seventh. Nice. Exemption this year. It's not just the physical part. There's a mental part of that, isn't it? When you're playing hurt and trying to come back from an injury. Absolutely. Having confidence in what your body can do, but also feeling like there's not this sense of urgency. Mel Reed. An unlikely birdie opportunity, but if it drops, she'll tie for the lead. We'll pick up speed right here. Wow! Here she comes. Again, Mel Reed, whose lone career LPGA title was here in Jersey. It was a week after she had lost a final round lead. Last hole of the day, this for Birdie to take the lead. Distance control issues. 18th can go for it. Mel Reed, her last hole of the day. And that's important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Finish yes. your finish your. Solid. In fact. Better than solid. Yeah, it's spectacular. It's, it's the, the best of the day. The low round of the day by two of those who finished. And Mel Reed, healthy again. Leah, no. as we know. Here's Borga with putter from off the front. It's a well protected hole location today. You can see that.